What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today we're gonna be going over our first BT11 that I've made from scratch. So let's dive into the video. You guys voted for it, and we're gonna cover Bloom Lord. So without further ado, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, even just send emojis helps the video go off. If you like the deck profile, I don't need you guys to go any further than that. But if you guys also have objections, let me know down in the comments to the deck. So without further ado, let's get into it. Go over the Digitama first. First off, we are playing none other than four. Argomon. Argomon is just one of those really good Digitama for this deck because it allows you to extend your plays and being able to, when this Digimon becomes unsuspended during your unsuspend phase, gain one memory. So this allows you to really just extend your plays. And since our boss Digimon should be well protected in a way where they're not going to be able to kill it, they should be able to gain you some extensive gain memory plays. And then we do play one Gummy Mon. Gummy Mon's one of those cards that are really good as well because your turn when an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, draw a card. Sadly, they don't have another really decent gain of memory situation, but at least one Gummy really does help out. And that's kind of where I got from the list I looked at. But, I mean, I definitely agree with, from my testing-wise with Argomon, from regular Bloom Lord, not BT11s, is that Argomon is kind of just the go-to Digitama. And then Gummymon is one of those backups that it's okay to get. Next, let's talk about it. Four of EX3's Pumomon. Pumamon is your turn when an effect suspends this Digimon, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, which helps you out to be able to swing into them, remove them off the board. It's a lot of manipulation that it really does help out because you will be paying the cost here, and it does mean that by just being able to suspend them for your cost, you're suspending one of their Digimon, which helps advance your plays. So it's really useful. Then we do play for a BT10 Palmon. Palmon is really good because on play, reveal the top four cards of your deck, add one card that contains plant or vegetation in its traits, and one card with fairy in its traits among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. So this is hopefully a plus two in most cases, but at the worst time, it's just a plus one. Most of our deck is plant and vegetation, so there's no issue on that. Then we do have two Palmon from BT11. BT11's Palamon, start of your turn, draw a card. As long as we have this thing sitting on the board still, that means we're getting free pluses and helping us speed through our deck. I think it's a really solid tech. I don't see more than two. You could definitely play three, but I feel like two is just the ideal sweet spot for this list. I don't think going above that, you're going to try to deck yourself out. And there's just some other techs that you do really need in it. So we also are playing two Pum Pumumon. So Pumumon is all turns. Players can't play Digimon by effects. So this helps by allowing the mirror match. They can't be, you know, spamming out the board as well. So that slows them down. And they can't really get rid of this right away. So it's just really useful. And yes, it shuts you down a bit. But if you time it right, you can slow them down before it hurts you more. And then we do play, lastly, two Terriermon. Terriermon doesn't actually synergize really well with the deck. I play it personally because I'm always about slowing down those memory gains. And what do I mean by that? You know, green memory boost, hammer sparks, even going against decks that are going to be like the Mervamon loop, Minervamon loop and stuff like that. You want to be able to prevent them from gaining as much memory as possible. And if you can slow them down a turn, that really helps you out. So Terrymon is still quite useful in my opinion. But this is pretty much the basic rookie lineup. It's not terrible. I like it a lot. And that is really solid there. Next, let's move on to the champions. So first off, we are playing a vanilla in the form of Red Veggie. Red Veggie is just 3,000 DP, 3 cost to play, level 4. Not terrible at all. It is just solid enough to deal with what your opponent's trying to do. Then we do have four Sunfloramon. 
Sun Florimon is another great Digimon in this deck. Because when Digivolving, by suspending one of your green Digimon, you may play one Digimon card that contains plant, vegetation, fairy, and its traits, and 3,000 DP or less from your hand without paying its memory costs. Your turn, when one of your Digimon is suspended by effect, draw a card. So, being able to basically play majority of your deck because the the low end, the champions and low ends are in the 3,000 DP range really does help out. Most of them are plants. The only card that is really not going to be played is your terrier mon with this effect but that's fine but being able to draw as well because when one of your opponents digimon is suspended by an effect draw a card really does help out very powerful lineup here and then we do play two vegemon for the new set bt11 this start of your turn gain one memory i think being able to gain one memory really does help out and putting them on board extends our plays does kind of like Argomon does, makes them have to do threat analysis and stuff like that. It really applies pressure. And last but not least, we are playing Parasoramon. So this card is uh, really good because when you would play a green Digimon card, by suspending this Digimon, reduce the play cost by one. This fuels our effects, keeps us our momentum going. And then finally... When in effect suspends your Digimon, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, give us another Pumumon's effect. So just not bad. I think this is a very solid champion lineup. Kind of reminiscent of old Digimon builds where we kind of had this number of champions and rookies. Next, let's go into the ultimates. We have a Jatarmon, a, J a, J a Jaratarmon, blah, blah, blah. This card here, by suspending one of your green Digimon, you may play one Digimon card that contains plant, vegetation, or fairy in its traits with 3,000 DP or less from your hand without paying its memory costs, flooding the board like we do. When one of your Digimon becomes suspended by effect, gain one memory. Really beneficial abilities to gain us memory and extend our plays. Then we do have three, Blossomon. Blossomon is just very power powerful because it can Digivolve for free. And because we're suspending stuff to gain more power, more memory, more utility out of it, we would like to see it. And then we do have one Argomon. This card is limited to one, so we're going to have to only play it at one. But when attacking, you may play one level three green Digimon card from your hand suspended without paying the memory costs. So very useful there. And then finally, the last key component is two Cherrymon. So what about Cherrymon in here? It Digisorption for two, so it'll come in for one. But opponent's turn, when your opponent's Digimon attacks, you may switch the target of the attack to one of your suspended Digimon. So this helps you protect your little guys because they're going to try to kill off them. And being able to redirect attacks is just kind of important in my opinion. All in all, I think the ultimate lineup is perfect here. I don't see any issues here. What do you guys think? And then let's dive into the Megas. First off, we'll talk about him. We'll talk about EX3's none other than Hyd Hydramon. So this card is really powerful because this card really was the backup Bloom Lord needed. When did you evolve? You may suspend one Digimon. So not bad. We feel effects here. All turns when an opponent's Digimon is suspended. Gain one memory for each other suspended Digimon with plant, vegetation, or fairy in in one of its traits to you ha have in play for each one you have in play. So this allows you to basically make him a free cost or when your opponent does anything, you instantly can pass it to your turn. And then at a turn, if you have two or more suspended Digimon with plant, vegetation, or fairy in, it, in its one of its traits... Return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of their deck. So, helps control the board, applies pressure, applies everything you want from this Digimon very easily. So, and then here is our OTKer, and that is Bloom Lord himself. So this card, really powerful. So when Digivolving may suspend one of your, your Digimon, then for each of your suspended Digimon that contains plants, vegetation, or fairy in its traits, gain one memory. When you gain when you gain two or more memory with this effect, unsuspend this Digimon, and this Digimon gets piercing for the turn. So he lets himself restand and get an attack in. 
And then your turn for every two of your suspended Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP and security plus one. So he's a little tanky because he's 12K, but he's also tanky because he's 13. All in all, really good. The only real problem for this deck is a well-timed Death X Mon. You get really punished for that. So you have to play accordingly and cautiously around that. So just keep an eye out on those Death Xs because a lot of players will be trying to play it because it is the go-to card of the format. Then we do play two Mimis. Mimis is really good because start a turn. If you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. And then if you have a level five or higher green Digimon in play, you may suspend this Tamer to hatch one Digi Egg to an empty space in your breeding area or move a level three or higher Digimon from your breeding area to the battle area. So really useful. Mimi is just always going to be very powerful for this deck. Then we do play three green memory boosts. So main effect. Main, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one green Digimon card among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. Then place this card into the battle area. Delay, gain two memory. That's really useful because it extends our plays and does crazy shenanigans. And then Sama, Samada Santani. So this card is you may suspend one of your Digimon to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or tamer your opponent's, un, your opponent's cards on suspended with this effect cannot unsuspend until the end of your next turn really useful and then security suspend one of your opponents digimon or tamer really useful at the end of the day well time can lock down the cross heart decks out stuff like that it's just all about timing really gotta say and then finally one hidden potential discover this lets you basically free digivolve and your digimon because all your costs you want to suspend anyway so flooding your board and free suspend and get a free mega, call it a day. I think this list is pretty solid here and I wouldn't, I don't see anything wrong with it. So guys, what did you think of this list? Let me know down in the comments and remember guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next video. Peace.